Hello children, welcome to my channel. This is chapter number 20, Area and Perimeter of Plane Figures, part 1. In this part, I will explain uh, how to find area and perimeter of uh, triangles, only triangles. Okay. First, let us understand what is area and what is perimeter. Suppose we have a closed figure like this. length of the boundary length of the boundary okay which is measured in cm meter kilometer etc okay then we have length of boundary means suppose I start from here the whole length I have covered ok the whole boundary I have covered that is called perimeter then area means measure of surface and closed within the function or within the figure ok how much what is the amount of surface that has been enclosed inside the figure that is called area so what is the measure of the surface that is called area it is measured in square cm square meter meaning of uh, perimeter and area. Now let us go for triangles. For any triangle, okay, for any triangle, suppose this is a triangle like this. Corresponding corresponding height or altitude. Altitude also known as altitude. Okay. Altitude. So for this one. Area is equal to half into if we take AB as the base, its corresponding altitude will be from C. The perpendicular from C that is C. So half AB into C. Also, we can take another base half into BC. If we consider BC as the base of this triangle, then its height will be from A, opening vertex. Okay. Suppose this is AQ. So AQ is the height or altitude corresponding to the side BC. So if we take BC as the base, we are bound to take AQ. Or if we take AC 
is the base. AC is the base. Then we have to take altitude from B. Okay. Suppose this is R. So we have to take B R. Okay. So remember. L A plus one is equal to half base into height. This is the best formula. The best formula to find the area of a triangle. Any triangle. It can be isosceles triangle. It can be equilateral. It can be scalar. It can be acute angle triangle. It can be obtuse angle triangle. Okay, any type of triangle. You know, one more thing I want to say here. You can see here all the altitudes or all the heights are inside the triangle. In some cases, the altitudes may be outside the triangle. In case of Uh, obtuse angle triangle. For example, for example, we have a triangle ABC, which is uh, which has angle B as the obtuse angle. B is the angle B is the obtuse angle. In this case, if I want to take BC as the base, okay, area is equal to half into BC into corresponding altitude means from A I have to draw a perpendicular on BC, which is not possible. So in that case, I have to produce CD. In this case, I have to produce CD in this direction. Then only I can draw a perpendicular from A. On C B produced, let this point be P. So A P is the height of altitude corresponding to the side B C. Okay. So in this case, you can see the altitude is outside the triangle. Here, the altitudes we are inside the triangle. Okay. Here. So area is in half B C into A P. Okay. Here AP, the altitude corresponding to the side BC is outside the triangle. Okay, so remember, altitude altitude of a triangle can be inside the triangle and can be outside the triangle depending on upon the type of triangle. Okay, if it is a right angle triangle, then it will be inside. If it is a right angle triangle, then it will be outside. Clear? Next, let us move to. Uh, A triangle where altitude is not given. Okay, if altitude is given, side is given, then we can find the area of the triangle. But suppose altitude is not given. So what? How, what can we do? Or how can we find the area of the triangle? Here we will use Aron's formula. Okay. Suppose we have a triangle. It can be any type of triangle. Doesn't matter. Suppose A, B, C. The side of the vertex A is small. A means the length of BC is small. A. The length of AC which is opposite to capital B means vertex B is small B. The length of AB which is opposite to vertex A is small C. Okay. Here, S stands for semi perimeter. Semi perimeter means perimeter by two. What is perimeter? A plus B plus Okay, sum of both the sides is perimeter. So A plus B plus C, and S means semi perimeter. So by two. Okay, then area as per Helms formula. Here altitude is not given. Okay, so this formula has to be used only when altitude altitude is not given. All the three sides are given. So area is equal to S into S minus A, S minus B. S minus C square. Okay, so this is the Helms formula to find area of a triangle. I am not giving the derivation because it will be very lengthy and it is not necessary. Okay, now let us move to right angle triangle. Okay, right. Right angle. 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 Right angle.
ABC. Right together B. So in this case, when you can easily find AB plus BC plus AC and area is equal to area is equal to half into half into product of the sides that contain the right angle. So which two sides contain the right angle? Okay. AB and BC. Half into AB into BC. Okay, half into AB into BC. So half into product of the sides that contain the right angle. If A would be right angle, means if the triangle would be right angle at A, okay, in that case area will be AB into AC. Clear? So this is for right angle triangle. Clear? Next is equilateral triangle. Okay. Suppose we have an equilateral triangle like this. This is A, this is B, this is C. All the sides are equal as you know. A, A, A. Okay. All the sides are A, H. So, here the perimeter will be A plus A plus A that is 3A. Okay. 3A. Area is equal to root 3 A square by 4. Okay. Root 3 A square by 4. Remember the formula. Now, we can find altitude of this triangle using this area. See, half into base into height is area. What is best? We can take any base. Okay, we use for that A, A, B, A, B, A, B. So A into height, half into base into height is equal to area. Okay, half into base into height is equal to area. So our target is H. Okay, our target is H. So H is equal to root P is equal by four. Into 2 by 8 into 2 by 8. Okay? So 2 into 2 4 a, a cancel. So height is equal to I'm uh, sorry. Root 3 a by 2. Clear? This is formula for area. This is formula for height. Okay? If you remember this, you don't need to remember this. You can easily find this from here, from the area. Okay, this is for equilateral triangle. Now the last one is isosceles triangle. Last one is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. A plus A plus B that means 2A plus B. Area is equal to the formula is B by 4, 4 is square minus B square square. Remember this formula? B by 4, 4 into square root of 4 is square minus B square. Then again from the area we can find the height of this triangle corresponding to the base means this thing. We can find this height. So for this is x. Okay, my target is to find x. Let us find this. So half into base into height is equal to area, which is this one. B by 4. 4 is square minus b square square. Okay. B B cancel. Let us find x. So x is equal to 4 is square minus b square by 4 into oh sorry, sorry, sorry. 